People who love Jesus, who are common cause for the kingdom, can disagree. We can have different opinions. Some folks woke up this morning with raspy throats because the whooping in their life has drained them. <laughs> Others of us grow up with great sadness and resolution to the future and we'll uh, look to better days ahead. Some folks come here and they uh, know uh, great things about a culture that they love and others um, are distant from family and friends. We are common cause in the kingdom. We can, in fact, have different opinions. And Paul says, when that happens, come back together and he doesn't take sides, he points to Jesus. If you like contemporary, if you like traditional, if you like no instruments, if you grew up a Baptist, a Catholic, or a Presbyterian, if you've been a cradle Methodist and you know what it means to be nice and eat chicken, whatever it is that your story is, Paul says what really counts is how you're aiming your life and your mind at Christ Jesus. And when tension comes, he uses body language. Be of the same mind. This is because Paul's favorite metaphor for this is a body. That means when it hurts, it's like the shoulder and the elbow not getting along in our lives. That's why when folks who have sat next to you in a pew that you loved and you, you gave with and you served with uh, feel they can't be a part of your community more, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt just a little bit, it hurts a lot. For it's more like an amputation than anything else. The body is the community of those who gather in service to Christ. Christ. 